Free tutorial, guys. Spice up your Zoom call or live stream or long distance relationship with a soundboard or voice mod. And it's completely free and it's so easy to do. You could do this right now. Just like liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And yeah, by the way, this isn't sponsored at all. And this software is called Clownfish Voice Changer. All you need to do is uh, go to their website, head to the download linked in the description, by the way. I don't know if there's a Mac version for this or a substitute, but for now, this is just the Windows one. You can download either the 64 or 32-bit, depending what you're running. Chances are you're running on 64-bit. And the 32-bit VSC you see there, it means how much RAM it has access to. 64, of course, will have more access to more RAM, but 32 will do just fine, well, for me at least. You need that, download that. And then you download the soundboard hotkey manager. Once you have these downloaded, you install Clownfish Voice Changer. You run that next, next. Keep note of this, the destination folder, okay, guys? Uh, next. I'm not going to completely install it now because I already have this installed. Once that's installed, let's go to the... We're going to go to the destination folder right here. And we unzip the second download, which is us, which is the soundboard, right? Like now we're going to unzip the soundboard, the second download, onto the destination. Like so, just drag it there. It should extract. I already have it there anyway. Once you have that done, you want to right-click on soundboard, pin it to your taskbar. In this case, I already have it pinned. Same uh, with the Clownfish Voice Changer, or you could put it on your desktop, whichever. Because you want both of these running when you're having your voice changer or your... So let's run Clownfish and the soundboard. First, when you click on it, it'll expand, giving you different options here. Uh, you want to have this on, click on Hear Music and Sound. And then you click Set Voice Changer. You will be able to change your voice with this, with different voice effects. Here, Helium gives you a tiny voice. Male pitch gives you a much deeper voice pitch. And you can do combinations with these sound effects like this. For the Emperor. So make sure to click on Clear Effect to remove any and all active voice effects. The best way to test this is either clicking on uh, Clownfish again to hear microphone. So you could hear if it's work working so I can hear myself with this effect or recording yourself through like audacity or whatever you used to record or, or you can test this on discord with somebody like ask them if the voice effect works just make sure you have this on if you have like a second monitor great because you don't want to have a voice effect on without you knowing now Moving on to the soundboard, what you want is you want to click on the soundboard for Clownfish Voice Changer right here. So we download this. This is the, what we unzipped. Now, what you see here is a very simple looking application. But in truth, this is actually very, very versatile. Over here, we have presets. Presets are basically the profiles. You can either set your key binds to whatever profile or preset that you want. You can put on a default one, but in this case, we will be doing it on a new one. Let's test this out. Click on new, new preset. Let's name it gaming or name it Discord, whatever. Once you create a new preset here, it's blank. What you need to do is for the soundboard, click add on sound. You have an action in place there. You need to assign a sound effect to this. Double click on data column right the on the right side of play sound and over here you'll be able to choose what you want on the hotkey here to set the hotkey just click on the blank section on the left side on the hotkey column and you will be able to set whatever you want on this case i'll be putting f1 plus shift there we go But yeah, 
it's important that you set the key binds to different bindings that wouldn't conflict what you're doing. Like uh, it wouldn't conflict with gaming or browser or whatever application that you're using. You don't want to press Alt F4 <laughs> to play a sound effect and it'll close your program. No, don't do that. Here are some safe ones. I have set, uh, I've experimented in these so far. Um, have worked for me. But of course, you got to tailor this to your needs. Now, you can also set voice effects by clicking on set voice here. And then you can set a hotkey to a certain voice effect that you want. So you don't have to go back to the Clownfish voice changer window and clicking on the different you know, voice effects over here. Now, before you do this, or before you set the bindings, you will have to set here. Let's do that again. Let's uh, instead of uh, you know clicking a sound effect, when you click on data, it'll have you choose a voice effect. Here you have to have no voice change, so it sets it back to the normal one. We will set the hotkey to Alt F5, and then we'll set another voice effect to let's say male male pitch so it lowers down the pitch of my voice now we got to set the hotkey to alt f6 for example so what's cool is like not only have i mapped this like i, I can turn on the lower pitch effect as you can see here right now i can set this real time like i can turn it off and like while i'm talking i can click it again bam here we are again and there you have it. That should pretty much get you covered. Go play around with it the way you want to. Set it to fit your needs. You can take this to the next level by having something like this. This is, again, not sponsored. This is a uh, Razer Nostromo. This is actually a very old, well, not really very old, piece of tech right here. But I think the more updated one's called the um, Tartarus. But yeah, basically, this is a keypad. You can do this with almost whatever. As long as you can program the keys, like example. I have this key set to shift F1 and it'll play this sound effect. Or Alt F5 for this. Or Alt F6 for they this. Ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. I also have it set to like um, change my voice. On the fly, I can just press this or I press this. So to change it again, I am not editing this on the video. This is all going on real time while I'm recording. So yeah, uh, do. Do consider, like, if you have something that you could program the keys, maybe it's a uh, like function, like additional keys on your keyboard, or if you have an application on your phone where you can uh, set macros and stuff, this is one cool use for it. Also, I will have to let you know that these sound effects, they don't come with Clownfish, the application itself, so you're going to have to get your own. There's plenty of places across the internet to get the sound effects that you want. You can get it on YouTube or a website called My Instance. Go look it up. You'll be able to download different uh, sound clips from there. Shout out to Brucey Boy for letting me know about that one. And of course, uh, have fun with this. Um, just make sure not to abuse this. Try not to abuse this as it does get annoying. But yeah, I hope this does enhance your experience with your viewers as a streamer or if you're a content creator. Hope this does help you out. If you have like, you know, Discord or Zoom meetings, I hope. This kind of makes it a little bit more exciting. I hope you did enjoy this. I hope this was helpful. This would have uh, dragged on a little longer because sometimes not all of these work. Sometimes the sound effects, uh, the sound clips that you put will not always work. But yeah, I don't want to focus so much more on different troubleshooting because a lot of things could go wrong here. But thankfully, there's a lot of solutions just available out there online. But if ever you do run into a snag, you know, feel free to comment down below and I'll help you with the best of my ability. Again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.